this person is my friend, but I also admire their artistry. He is a musician, rapper, writer, producer, and just all around creative an artist, musical artist to be respected. And it's not other than Corey Banks. So with that, let's give it up for him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. That's love, I appreciate it for sure. I know I just gave a little bit, but I would love for you to tell, it's nothing like giving your own intro. I believe in it, okay? Why don't you tell the people who you are as well? Well, I go by the name of Corey Banks um, from Detroit, Michigan. You know, I've been rapping since, you know, I was 12 or whatever. But, um, yeah, my stage name is Corey. It's an acronym. It stands for Quite Unique and Respectively Idolized. So, you know, that that kind of, you know, that means a, a lot to me, you know what I'm saying, when people, like, you know, really relish in, like, my artistry and stuff because, you know, that is me. So, you know, I'm a... Uh, I'm just, I'm excited to be here. And I'm, I'm grateful that you allowed me to be on this platform. It's, you know, it's been a minute since I did something like this. So it's, it's just fun. It's just exciting. It's super fun. And it's just, it's, it's just two friends kicking it and talking about creative stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So now we're all comfortable and we're going to get into some of these questions. Sure. <laughs> so, um, I want to know, we can start with this. What has your creative journey looked like? up until this point. I know that's kind of heavy, but like let's talk about your journey and we can Okay. Well well now this is a good because I was um this goes back to the the dream I said I was gonna talk about. So when I was twelve, my uh, people always laugh at this story, but it's so like true. I can't make this up. Like <laughs> I was twelve and I was I was sleeping and I had like a real dream. Like and this was like I wasn't making music at the time and nothing like that. And but I had a dream and I was with this was this for reference time period. This was like 20, what 2010? Yeah, 2010. So around that time, you know, the Young Money crew, you know, Lil Wayne, Drake, Nikki, when they was first coming up, you know, they were like, you know, the main people at the time, like people I listened to. So um in a dream, I was like hanging with them. Like I was just wait. Around. I have a question. Which Carter was out at that point? Which Carters are <laughs> Carter? Carter what? one, two, three. I think it was like Carter one and two, right? Carter three was out because Carter three came out in oh eight, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Before Carter four came out, like a year or two before Carter four. Came out. This was like okay. the, when he was just trying to push Young Money. Okay. Well, he yeah. had the whole crew coming up. So we got Drake. We got Nicki. Uh, anybody else I'm forgetting and then him because he was still on a roll yeah so this was like yeah so like in the dream it was like all of them like all the young money everybody in the crew and like just other random people or whatever and it looked like we was at like the the set that they shot Bed Rock at like that video but I, I don't know it just was a big house but mm -hmm. um, I, was, I was just hanging with them or whatever and like just chilling just talking but Fast forward, everybody like went downstairs to the studio or whatever. So people started rapping, like Drake was rapping, Nicki was rapping. And Tyga proceeds to look at me and he was like, bro, rap. I was like, bro, I don't rap. Like, why you want me to rap? I'm like, I, I don't make music. He was like, nah, bro, just go ahead, just spit something. So like, right when I was about to start rapping, I woke up. And then like from that point on, I just texted my homie. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm gonna just start making music. Like I didn't know how to, what to do, how to do it. The dream just told me that I need to start making music. So I don't, listen, I still remember that like to this day, you know what I'm saying? Like that like really shaped the beginning of my journey. But like, you know, in the beginning I started out, I was mad trash, you know, to me, in my opinion, I was garbage. But to other people, like my peers thought I was garbage too, but um, like to the older people, like they will always ask me. Um, they was like, you know, they were always, they was like, you write your own stuff. I was like, yeah. Like I didn't understand there was a concept that people wrote for other people. I was like, who else gonna write my song? Like, so they were like, right. and I was even able to write music in general, write song lyrics in general. So you know that that journey of just you know practicing and understanding what melodies are and 
watching all these other artists, kind of learning from them and just, you know, just writing all the time. Just, you know, like since I was 12, I didn't really start getting good. So I was like 14, 15. But just being able to, you know, be educated enough to like put words together, you know, like that was, that's always been a major thing for me. Like always being the one who writes everything, you know. So that beginning journey was like, that was everything. That was a process. But at the time, I didn't really know who I wanted to be as an artist. I was just rapping about stuff like I didn't have, like how everybody else does, you know, in the beginning stages. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it was still like, like, dang, he really is writing stuff. So people were impressed by that. And like, I would always record myself, like engineer myself. Like I would do the mixing and mastering before I knew it was called mixing and mastering. Like I was doing all that stuff. Um, so I really developed like overall, like everything that I wanted to be as an artist and hear as an artist. Like I know when something sounds off, I know when something is delayed, just all the technical stuff. So like, that's why when I say like, you know, sonically things just don't be sounding right to me sometimes. That's just cause I've been doing it for so long. I know like what it's really supposed to sound like and what it's not supposed to sound like, but like to the consumer, they don't hear everything that I hear all the time. Like, right and then also i think you wanted to sound a certain way too it's the, it's like i feel like especially in that realm i'm no creative i'm no like i'm no artist in that way yeah. um but i have been in, i was in a uh, voice keyboard class at my in from sixth grade to 12 so i understand how stuff is supposed to sound like you know what i'm saying it's like i get that this is supposed to be it's a, it's musical theory at that point. It's like, okay, it's a whole nother level to this conversation at this point. Cause it's like, but it, even for you, it's like, I want it, it sounds like this in my head. It has to sound like this or better out here, yeah. or I don't want it. I don't want. <laughs> and, then, and then sometimes it's like, you can, you'll stop yourself from like, like it was points where I wouldn't re- record cause I didn't think it would come out how I wanted it to come out, but I had to just get over that and just do it. Never know what it, what it was like. Yeah, because it's always easier. It's easier to edit it later, to yeah. or like do another take or something. Mm-hmm. As the, it, it's more easy to do that than to not start and to just kind of lose the whole vibe. Because it's like we can catch a vibe and make it better, right. even once it once it's out. But it's like if it's not out, if you don't actually have that catalyst moment, it's like how are you ever going to get it to sound right? Because it's like you're operating in fear on that point at that point yeah okay as an artist you gotta just do it you know otherwise it just won't get done for you. yeah or somebody else is gonna do it like at That's some true. point you'll see somebody else that comes around and they do it and you just like you gotta eat that and that's rough yep. that's rough <laughs> that's rough creatively but also in life so, because yeah. like, because you're like they, because they weren't scared to take this jump and and pursue this type of idea, and then it's like they now they're reaping all those benefits, and then you see them, and you're like, it could have worked out. Just gotta trust so I was yourself. Here for zero reason. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe. Uh, but I think, but you you only learn to trust yourself when you actually start doing it. And you actually keep going and you keep moving forward in some type of way. My next question is, how do you define creativity? So with all of that, how do you, how would you define that? Mm. Yeah, I know it's super broad, but like, I feel like for each person everywhere, it has its own meaning. I say creativity. I'm a related just to me, but I know I'm for sure like it can relate to other people. But like me, Creativity is like understanding that you're already a different person. So whatever you come up with is going to be creative, especially when you're talking about yourself and what you go through and you relate the things you make back to you. It's already creative because you're not the same as anybody else on this earth. So for me, like, I feel like even like the times where I always tried to be too different or something, like, I think that it helps, but it hurts. Cause like, if you don't, cause now you're different from yourself. Yeah. Or just like, you know, just being different in the sense of like, oh, okay. I need to come. Like, I need to really think outside the box and like, but what, like for what, like, what's the, 
Like, I get that, but, like, you are the box. Like, don't lose sight of that. Just tell your story. Let it be you. Let let it flow through you. And it'll naturally just all come together. So, like, even with my, like, my first project, um, RRR, that was just all real life stuff. You know what I'm saying? That was just mm-hmm. everything I went through. And, like, that was, like, another one of those things where it was like, okay, people like it, cool. If they don't, it's my story at the end of the day. Like, we only, right. I feel like whenever I felt like I needed to be impressive or, you know, or please people, that was because of um, me talking about stuff that didn't really relate to me. I wanted it to just sound good to other people. And that's like, you just lose yourself with that. But yeah, I, I feel like cre- um, creativity is, you know, letting it flow through you, not forcing it, not forcing, you know, the creative genius that you already have and just, you know, um, telling your story. Like, let your story bring out the creativity in you, honestly. I feel that. And honestly, when you are not creating from, like, your own perspective, it's harder to keep that up. Mm -hmm. It's harder to just keep going with that because it's like, okay, let's say I was just somebody, like, just really... I'm one way, but I'm I'm off the wall in a whole nother direction. And now I, I now I gotta keep that energy. I gotta keep that up. And that's not me at all. It doesn't even speak to me because that if that's not me, then it probably won't speak to me in any kind of way. It's like I'm not even messing with it for real. But now I didn't start it this off off the wall stuff for for my personality is off the wall and now I got to keep that up that facade up and it's like I'm going to burn out eventually exactly like it's just it's not worth it at the end of the day it's 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 going it's just going to keep stressing you out like that's just what it is or like some people you know there's a lot of artists out here that don't really talk about nothing but that's because they've reached a certain point and they just don't care like you know so it's it's very kind of like how you Oh, body. Like, I care too much to just put out meaningless stuff, honestly. Like.